Hey guys, so yeah, so this is part of the vlog, I guess. I am just doing something a little bit different. If you haven't been to my channel, welcome. I know we're getting a little bit more different uh, people coming in and coming out, so if you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, my name is Bruce, I am 21 years old. I just talk about Jesus. I like sharing stories, sharing life, encouraging others, and that's what my life is about. So I'm just sharing it with you and I hope you enjoy it. But anyways, what we're gonna be talking about today is something that is really, really important to me. It has been really, really important to me, uh, but I kind of just forgot about it. I know, how could you have something so important but you forget about it? Well, it's this book right here. It's called How to Be a Follower by the band 10th Avenue North. And that's one of my favorite bands. Um, you can check them out. I'll leave a link down in the bio. But yes, yeah, so one of the things he does here is just like a devotional book. So every song that he had written, and that's this specific album called How to Be a Follower, he gives a little devotional with it. So it's really cool. I've read through it once before, but I wanted to read it, reread it again. And this time I actually did some like little note taking and little stars and underlines and stuff. But I just wanted to share with you guys. So let's get started. Let's jump right into it. The song is called What You Want. It says, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself take up his cross and follow me matthew 16 24 it says every day i've been feeling the pressure i always got to know the plan it's a weight that i've tried to shoulder i thought i could but i can't and i'm so tired of chasing dreams when i am tired to let you lead you're changing my heart to what you want to love how you love and that is enough there's no greater plan that i need to know you only ask me to follow and want what you want what you want oh there's freedom in the surrender i feel myself come alive and the burden feels like a feather when i let my agenda die and i get so tired of my own dreams when i am wired to let you lead so many leaders you ask for followers so keep on leading because you're my father and i just want to pause it right there like not read devotional yet because i wanted to share that that is so true guys if you guys didn't get the gist of it that's just saying that God has called us to be followers, not necessarily leaders. And that's something that I, I wanted to share. Like so many times, the, the thing that stood out to me there is when it says you're treating my heart to what once you want, to love how you love, and that is enough. There's no greater plan that I need to know. You only ask me to follow. And then even before that, and I'm so tired of chasing dreams when I'm wired to let you lead. Like so many times, guys, that's what I said so many times, so many times, I myself, if you guys haven't known my story, I've struggled with that a lot. And that's something I'm constantly fighting against. And I know Jesus is healing me from it. And in Jesus' name, one day, you know, I'll be able to say yes. Like it's fully conquered, fully out. And maybe that's when Jesus returns. But I'm going to keep going with it and trusting God, trusting Jesus with the plan. But things like that, just knowing the plan, knowing that, hey, I want this to happen. Knowing, hey... Wait, maybe if it doesn't happen, wait, I'm expecting this to happen, but it's not happening. What's going on? And I get so clustered in my mind and my brain that I just kind of fall apart and I put my own self down. And I don't know if that's something hereditary from the family or it's just something that I developed, fear and that anxiety and that insecurity just pop in my heart and in my mind. And it was just so tiring, so saddening to my soul. And I just had this thing of, you know what? I want this. And this is what I want. And I can, this is the plan. But guys, like God has a totally different plan for me there. And even to this present day, I find myself trying to hold on to things, trying to hold on to plans that maybe I think that are right and that I want to do. But God always has a greater plan. And whether it's mixed in with something that's going on now, whether it's totally not that or the opposite thing, I have to be okay with it. Because when I say, Lord, I give him my agenda. When I say, Lord, you have the greater plan. I have to trust him in that. And it's easier said than done. I just have to convince myself. Continue to convince myself. Continue to let God convince my heart and my soul through the Holy Spirit that what he's doing is right and true. And so I know I went a little long there, but let's jump into devotional, okay? So let's continue. So there's just some things that are underlined here. So again, and he said to me, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. This is from Matthew 4.19. Again, we see that word follow. And we see that three more times, um, you know, with other things too. Like it says, the disciples, the rich young ruler, the list goes on. But the words that Jesus speak, 
speaks are always the same. Come and follow me. Follow, follow, follow. And I underline this. says, Jesus doesn't require leadership skills of anyone. He only bids them to come. And then, so this is a conversation that he had with one of his friends. And this is, this is so, so amazing. He says, so you're telling me I'm not supposed to be a leader? Or, no, sorry. So you're telling me I'm not supposed to be a leader? Yes. Well, sort of, I counter. I don't think it should be a personal goal. It's not something that needs to be on your radar. Radar, He counters. So I pray this prayer for my two young boys every night. I pray God may my boys follow you and become great leaders of men. What's wrong with that? Well, nothing, I fire back. It's just redundant. I'm saying you don't even need to be worried about the second part. Why couldn't you just pray that your boys would follow Jesus, whether others see him as leaders or not? Isn't that up to God? He says, and this, I think, is a point. I don't think there's anything wrong with being considered a leader. Whether people view you as that or not, isn't it really something you can help? Wait, isn't it really something you can help? But I think a lot can go wrong when your aim is to be known as one. As soon as becoming a leader is your personal mission, you can rest assured you'll never be a good one. This is the distinction. Do you really want to lead by serving the way Jesus did, or do you want to be considered a leader while others serve you? Let's read that again. Do you really want to lead by serving the way Jesus did, or do you want to be considered a leader, a leader while others serve you? And lastly, does Jesus didn't say to the disciples, follow me and make yourselves fishers of men. He said, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Jesus didn't say, abide in me and go make yourselves bear fruit. He said, abide in me and you will bear fruit, fruit that will last. You see, Jesus didn't focus on the byproduct. His only desire was to follow his father's will. Everything else would fall into place. Even things falling into place look so much different to Jesus than it does for us. For Jesus that lived like dying on a cross and descending into hell. I wouldn't say this is what many of us have in mind as God's will for our lives. Jesus calls to be followers. Leadership is up to God. And that's my prayer, guys. That's what my point I want to get to get across for myself and for whoever is listening forever who needs encouragement in that. I know sometimes you want things to go a certain way. I know. I felt that 100%. And I, I feel for you. I feel for you. I really do. Because that's something I battle with too. But I know that God has a perfect plan. I know that he's putting things together whatever way he wants to. He works in mysterious ways. And I think about it now and just like all the things that I consider blessings now, I didn't have any part of it. Yes, I took necessary steps, sure. You know, the interstate career. Like I wasn't even looking at that job. That just popped up. You know, when I prayed for it, it popped up. God gave me that opportunity. You know, meeting certain people in your life, God brings them into your life. Whatever it may be. But I just want to encourage you. All right, that's it. But hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Again, How to Be a Follower by 10th Avenue North. And yes, stay encouraged, stay blessed. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and drop them in the comment box. If not, you can DM me on Instagram at bruce.bineda and uh, we can talk there. But anyways, guys, I love you. Thank you for listening. Remember, Jesus calls, to, calls us to be followers and leadership is up to God. All right, love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.